some design considerations you might want to think about when choosing between passive and active antennas is device performance. Do you require a standard GNSS solution or a high precision GNSS solution? Typically, active antennas provide much higher performance for the antenna and will provide better location data for your device. Secondly, integration is an important topic. How do you integrate the antenna into your device? Do you require a cable? Do you mount the antennas directly onto your PCB? These are all factors that come into play in both active and passive antennas. Power consumption is another factor to consider. If battery life is important to your solution, passive antenna might be the solution for you, where active antennas actually consume power for the low noise amplifiers and active circuitry. Lastly, cost is always an important factor. And with the additional front-end electronics, active antennas typically tend to cost more than passive counterparts. If you require an integrated active solution, Tideblast has developed a range of TFM modules. These TFM modules work in conjunction with our passive antennas and can be integrated directly onto your board, saving you months, maybe even years, development time. These modules include active electronics, such as low noise amplifiers and active filters, to boost the incoming GNSS signals and reject the out-of-band signals. This will increase the quality of your signal and improve your location data and accuracy. Integrating a GNSS solution into your device is a complex process. Getting it wrong could cost you months of development down the line. So getting it right from the start is important. If you have any questions, please reach out to our global team of experts at Tagloss and we'd be happy to help.